Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing how to program parallax backgrounds just like this from scratch. Alright, so everything I've done to set up is in this background folder I created. I have some custom art assets, which I will link in the description, but you will most likely have your art assets ready to go. And make sure you have them ordered correctly. So... Without further ado, we can create a new node. It can just be a node 2D. We can call it background. Make sure it is behind everything. If we grab our sprites, we can drag them in. And we can make sure that we put them into here. Okay. We go to transform. Zero out our position. We can change the scale depending on your art. Also make sure that you set your texture to nearest. And now, as you can see, we have our static background in the game. And now to make it have the 3D effect. For the effect, we just need one script. We can name it whatever we would like. I'm going to go with Plax for Parallax. And it's going to be applied to every single one of these. So going to just add that real quickly. And now we can, we're going to keep the physics process and delete the rest. We just need two variables. We need an export variable called our layer. We're going to set this default value to 1. And we're also going to have a speed offset. I'm going to set this to 0.2 for now. And the reason why I have this on export is because I'm going to be changing it per node. And the speed offset will remain constant. So in this, I only need one line of code. I just need to get position. gets the negative. Actually, I need to also get the player node. So I need to get on ready player. I'm going to reference where the player is. Okay, I'm going to grab that player position position. And I'm going to multiply that by our layer and our speed offset. So this is actually all the code that we need. Essentially, all this does is depending on which layer we are, which I will change increasingly depending on every single one on top, we'll have a slightly faster speed corresponding to the player speed, which since every layer is moving slightly faster than the one below it, it will give a appearance of perspective and have a nice 3d look to it so all i did was i set each layer value to its corresponding layer value and if i press play we can see that whenever i move the layers are moving at a different rate giving a nice effect you can mess around with the speed values to fit your feeling of the game, but no matter what, this will add quite a bit of personality to the backgrounds of your game. All right, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to comment them in the comment section. If you have any further suggestions about uh, current videos or future videos, I am open to hear about them. Thanks for watching.